Do I have sweet greens for you? What do we mean by sweet greens? We're going to find out because, as you can see, we have an array of beautiful little growing things. So, Chris Stubberwalski, great to have you with us. Thank you. Your schoolhouse restaurant. You're yep. usually here, like, cooking up stuff from us, you know, from your wonderful Oak Creek restaurant. Absolutely. Yeah, so this is a different cooking up that you're doing. This is a different cooking up, and I do it with, you know, my partner, Eric Kostecki. And Eric Kostecki. He is the founder and really the mastermind between all this, you know. We've known each other for about 30 years, and he was looking something new to do, and I you know, had the connections and the people around me, so we made something so like I this poppin'. It. Yeah, yeah, so it's... All right, Mr. It's, Green, Mr. Sweet Greens. Mr. Sweet that. Greens, that's what it's it like is. It's like Sweet Jeans or yeah. something. Well, that's that's what we're going <laughs> yeah, for, that's right. So sweet, sweet, greens, sweet Greens, Arizona. Arizona. Right. Yes. All right, so right. what do you mean by Sweet Greens? Um, well, generally, it, it's microgreens and pea shoots and things like this, you know. Um, Nutrient-dense foods, high in photo, uh, nutrient, or phytonutrients, sorry. Um, all things grown, you know, based off the seed power instead of chemicals and all this other stuff. It's really, you know, in cocoa husk, you know, ground up. So there's no, um, no there's worry no manures, about no manures, bacterias, no bacteria, right. nothing like this. Or most people, you know, they don't eat sprouts anymore. Or you know, the the smaller spinach because you could really get sick if they're coming from mass companies. The E. coli, oh. the botulism, the things like that. Because well, they've been grown with pesticides. They've been or, grown with pesticides. Okay. They've been grown with manures. They, their their fields have been so deplenished that they have to constantly put new nutrients in. With us, we're, we're we're using the, the power of the seed. Power of the seed, you know, within the first three right. weeks, it's really power to the seed. Yeah. Power, power to, to the seed. seed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it, you know, it's you water it and it just shoots. And most of this stuff is in, within three weeks old. You know, um, and any any of this stuff, like this is micro fennel, um, this is micro cilantro, amaranth. Um, this looks like pea shoots. That's pea shoots, yep. radish shoots, uh, basil, and I forget the last Mizuna. one. Mizuna. Mizuna. Japanese mustard Jap green. No right. wonder if we got it. Gosh, Eric, yeah. good. Mizuna. I'm glad yes. he's the one that knows this <laughs> right. stuff because I'm like, <laughs> it looks well, pretty on a plate. I have to order you know, the seeds. So <laughs> okay, okay, so what do people use this for? Because I know when you come on and you right. cook, you are you always bring something like a dandelion sprouts, or I know we've had right. pea green sprouts, or something. I've used a lot of this stuff over the years, and really the great part about this is, you know, this little bit, um, you could either feed your kids two cups of broccoli, or you can feed them one pinch of this. You're going to get the same amount really? of nutrients. So, right. you know, if, if you want to avoid the struggle, you can give the kids, you know, a hand, not even a handful, like 10 little shoots, and that's like eating two cups of broccoli. So you know, when they're any small this thing, like this, mm -hmm. like you're saying, like three weeks old, they dense. just have they're more nutrient nutrition. They're nutrient-dense, okay. is what the words are, is nutrient-dense. Okay. And some of these things are four to 400 times more nutrient-dense than the actual oh. full-grown plant. So you can eat less and be healthier. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and you actually have, wow. yeah, a lot more nutrients running through your body. Hi, like so, this. And we're doing this now, you know, we're, we're expanding what we currently have into 3,000 square feet. Uh -huh. So we'll be a fully sustainable urban garden, which which is a, a new trend that's really taking off in major cities. Um, what we'll be able to do out of 3,000 square feet stacked, we could probably produce roughly 12 to 18,000 pounds of food a month. Amazing. Right. Now, Eric, are you selling this to the general public as yeah, well? We're currently just... selling to restaurants right now. Okay. Uh, one of our phases that we're going to get into will be to public, but uh, you know, right now we're concentrating on restaurants. The restaurants sales. are really right. digging this. Kind well, of stuff. they really like it. It's a great presentation on top of all their dishes. I mean, it really livens up a plate. All these colors, they love the colors, they love the flavors, they all have individual flavors. Right. Oh yeah, the texture And we put them everything. out there for you guys to taste. Too, I know, so and I'm please. going to taste some of this. <laughs> What'd you say this little red stuff is? It, that's going to give you, that's an amaranth, but it, it looks right. like a beet and it'll give you a little bit of a flavor of a beet as well. You'll taste mm. that beet flavor. Oh yeah, that's a yeah, This snappy. is the one I want this, you to try. This is the pretty potent one. Right. It's pretty impressive. Uh, pretty potent. And what is this? That's the micro cilantro. Yeah. Micro cilantro. So it has, it'll have a real intense cilantro flavor and but oh very sweet. Oh my gosh! Right. I just Isn't took that one, yeah. and it is amazing. <laughs> Right. I mean, it really, you can really and taste And you can see that. why the chef's like that, because in every little mm. bite, they can have an individual flavor. Right, for right. and right. the right. nutrients are right. there, you know, right. so you're going to have healthier, right. prettier food, if yeah. you will. Right. All right, what's that one? This is a scarlet Sorry. mustard green. Okay. So this will have that spicy uh, spicy mustard flavor. Excuse me for reaching in front of you. My no, grandma right. says as long as you keep one foot on the floor, you can reach. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, that. Mmm. 
Mm. And that's just like a spicy mushroom, like a great yes. coupon or something like that. Okay, right? this is the neatest thing. So with every dish, you can have something different. Right. Absolutely. Or you can mix them all together, and every bite would be different. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of the great restaurants in Sedona mm. currently using the product. You know, La Berge in Sedona, Chef Rochelle, um, Jeff. Um, Chef Jeff with the Chef Hudson. Chef with the Hudson. Right. Uh, obviously, Schoolhouse has been using it for two years now, mm -hmm. you know, working together closely. And one of the great things that Eric's able to do with the company is, you know, chefs will say, hey, I want this product. Can you grow it for me? Like this, you're growing for yeah, LaBerge. This is for LaBerge. The micro is a fennel. bronze fennel. All right. Just like oh, the fennel seed that. you can see in there. Right. Yes, it's very And uh, this is something that she wants, and you can tell by the So it tastes like anise, well, they, too, or licorice? They love licorice? that delicate, you know, the delicate. Oops. <laughs> they're very stringy. But they're, they're very together. delicate and very dainty. <gasps> it is. Look how cute that and is. And then it'll taste just like fennel the fennel is seed. Big, right. You know, right. big and heavier. Right. right. Well, so. this would be like eating a stock out of okay. one little piece. So. Right. Um, so you're you're done oh for today. Gosh, You've had all the amazing. nutrients already. I am healthy. I don't have to eat right, the rest right. of this. This is, this is like a, you know the 2001 Space Odyssey or whatever, where you just take a pill and you right. eat all your nutrients. Essentially, so that's, that's what, what we're it is. Doing. Mm -hmm. and what, what we both feel pretty passionately about is you know educating the kids, and you can do this stuff at your home pretty easily. Uh -huh. And if you grow the right things within your home, you can ditch all those pills and stuff that you have in your house. Wow. And that's that's something I firmly believe in. That's why right. when we got together. It's like listen. Education, we, we clicked on every single thing. One of our next phases is, is just we want to teach. Educate, yeah, teach, yeah, and put, put these urban gardens on every school property and shipping containers. Mm -hmm. Out of a 10 foot or a 10 foot tall, 8 foot wide, 20 foot long shipping container, you can grow an acre's worth of crops on a monthly basis. You know, wow. it's, so the it's food pretty production amazing. is larger and healthier. Larger, and healthier. And clean. It's yeah, clean. Much cleaner, organic, and 90% less water than if you were to grow on the ground. So we're trying to Especially hit all these different things. Nice for Arizona. Yeah, right. You know, yeah, we're you really bet. trying to hit all these huge points, you know, oh, and, yeah. and ditching those pills inside the medicine cabinet. Oh, with I know. Stuff. And all that gel. I think we all have this, like, gel just stuck somewhere yeah. in our body from all those capsules. Right. All the little capsules, all the gelatin <laughs> capsules. Oh, I know. It's like, they and, always and how was it handled? Canceled. How was it How is it handled? Right? Yeah, you, yeah. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. And you, this you can come in and and see it for yourself. Yeah, this is local, I mean, right. and we, so you can. It's uh, That's what's so nice mm -hmm. about this right. more local farming. It's hands-on yep. where right. we know the people who are mm -hmm. producing our food. Right. We know that it's healthy, that it's not being poisoned and right. Right. just looking good but not being good right. for us. Now, you have a GoFundMe too, right, Eric? We do. Or, yes, okay. we do. And uh, we're amazed at the community response. It has been beyond belief. Oh. Uh, you know, <laughs> There's people putting in five dollars that are, you know, families, big families, and, and they're just happy to see something local right. and something they can trust and something they can come in and pick fresh. Yeah. Oh, so, so the GoFundMe is for this 3,000 plus square foot. It's for the equipment to set up. It's all okay. going to be lit okay. with artificial lights, so that gets a little expensive with the uh, lighting systems. But oh, so you're going to have to depend on... Of course, we have a lot of sunshine, but yeah, yeah right. that's another phase we want to get into yeah. solar. So next we phase can start, by right. next year, hopefully June, we'll be able to build our own 20,000 square foot warehouse with full greenhouse capabilities, open roofs, so we can yes. supplement the lights, solar, and everything else. So it right. will be fully sustainable, and it will be pretty impressive when it comes down to it. But we like nice. the the fact that the the customer, the guest, whatever you want to call it, can come in and see what we're doing. Sure. You know, and we've had a tremendous amount of support. Uh, you know, Made Stage uh, event um, space in Cottonwood is letting us put on three huge events to do fundraising. Oh, okay. um, two of them are which Dining in the Darks, which is what something Schoolhouse is famous for. Mm -hmm. Five course wine paired dinner, blindfolded the whole time, and then um, first That's Friday in October. So. Okay, and we'll talk more about that because right. you'll yes. be on again. Awesome. Okay. Oh, wait, sweet greens, Arizona, beautiful, healthy food. Thanks for joining us, Absolutely. Christopher well, Welsky. Thanks for having us. And also, we Eric. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice. Wow. Thank you.